Welcome back to this YouTube channel. And now we're going to discuss how to insert title block into your AutoCAD drawing. Let me share to you now the AutoCAD screen. Okay, so Uh, the units used in this drawing is in meters. And now we are going to insert the title block into this drawing. And how are we going to do that? Okay, so first, we need to go to the layout. And we need to set our layout, go to page setup, and select the A3 size of paper. Okay, so for this particular paper size, uh, this is 420 by 297 millimeters landscape. Okay, so set this layout into current and close. So this is now our layout. And the next thing that uh, we're going to check is make sure that the units is set to millimeters. All right, so this is already in millimeters. Click OK. And we are now ready to insert our title block. And remember that uh, the title block uh, that we have already done before use the units in millimeters so that the units in the title block and the units in this particular page setup or layout is also the same, which is in millimeters. So go to insert then more options and choose the title block that you want to insert into your job. So this is title block three. And take note that the units for the title block is in millimeters. And of course, you have to check this box to specify the base point of your title block when you insert this into your drawing. And then click OK. Okay, so you just insert your title block at the center of your paper space. And then we need to fill up the following edit attributes for the subject. Let's see. DTP311 and course year and section is 3BTVT and section A student name, let's say one de la Cruz, and instructor name, the title of our drawing is foundation plan, and let's say the date started is September 14, 2020. And you finish your drawing September uh, 16, 2020. And this is your play number one. Okay. So now you have your title block already inserted in your layout. All right. So the next thing or, or the next step is to add a viewport into this layout. So how are we going to add the viewport? So go to layout and choose the rectangular shape of a viewport and then click on the upper left corner down to the right 
lower right corner. So that's it. And double click inside the report and press uh, F7. All right. Another F7. Okay, so when you press, uh, it's not yet. All right, so F7. So when you press F7, the grids are no longer displayed in the drawing area. Again, uh, we have here our foundation plan and we need to, uh, you can also, sorry, you can adjust your report. And when choosing the scale for this drawing, you just uh, highlight the border and then select the scale that you want to use. Let's say one is to one. So there you have it. This is key. And of course, the borders of this viewport should not be displayed in this layout. So Click on the viewport's border and select a layer which is already frozen. So this is layer one. All right, so that's it. So you're now finished with your plate number one. And in case you want to edit, uh, you, you want to edit some text, I all you have to do is use the enhanced attribute edit. So type in E A T T edit. So it's here. All right, so that that's uh, E A T T edit. And select a block. All right. So in this particular uh, window, you can find here that the tag names are listed here and the prompts and the value. So you can only change the value of this uh, particular tag names or prompt. Say, for example, you want to change the value for column 3A, so you just type in the requisite example, you want to change it to a framing plan. All right, so there you have it. Again, press enter to repeat the command and select the block. And then we're going to edit again, column to E. So let's type in foundation plan, All right? So that's it. So it's just very easy to edit the block attributes. And after doing this, you can now save your file to your uh, folder. Okay, so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.